Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our second full day on the Independence of the Seas on our first Royal Caribbean cruise ever. Today, we are going to be parked at Nassau, Bahamas any moment. I'm super excited about it. Time is now about 8 o'clock in the morning, and it is going to be a spectacular day. I'm going to enjoy a little bit of breakfast and maybe some views of the balcony. It is an absolutely incredibly gorgeous day here at Nassau, Bahamas. Look at that fishing boat out there. Look at the beautiful views that we can see from our amazing veranda view right here. I love it. We're going to get a little bit of breakfast and then we're going to maybe explore a little bit of the island and maybe just do things on board because you know it's our first Royal Caribbean cruise so I'm very excited for all things for us to do today. Look at the little boat tour right there. Love that. Beautiful day ahead. Let's get to breakfast. Something I really prefer about the hand washing stations is that the towels here at Royal Caribbean, they, they, they're already, how do I describe it, they're already kind of down. You don't have to kind of reach where the plastic is to find the towel. I think that's something that Disney can implement too because you, I feel like it, it just takes away the entire point of washing your hands when you have to kind of touch where the dispenser is to get the towel. So yeah, Royal, Royal got that one right for sure. The towel's already dispensed. Something new we're trying this morning, smoked salmon avocado toast and the Caprese avocado toast. Both look really good. I'll let you know what I think when we sit down at the table. Now while we're parked here at Nassau, you can see we've got the Celebrity Apex right there. Might go down there and check it out. Then we've got two other ships there. There's another Celebrity, a Carnival Conquest over here and Odyssey of the Seas. So that would make it two Royals, two Celebrities, one Carnival here at Nassau with us. Wow, I've never seen them double parked before. That's so cool. Maybe step out there just to look at these ships. Wow. For breakfast this morning, along with those special avocado toasts, got my smoked salmon, those hash brown circles, my favorite pancakes with a blueberry in the side this time, and a little omelet with ham and cheese. All look really good. I'll let you know how it is. Really good breakfast this morning. I'm impressed. The hash browns are out of this world amazing. The caprese and the other avocado toast, they're pretty good, but not my all time favorite, like the smoked salmon by itself. Blueberry pancake, delicious. That buttermilk flavor they use there is outstanding. The omelet right here with the ham and cheese was really, really good. Overall, great start to the day. Like this is one of the better breakfasts we've had on board so far. This is really good. So hope we get a repeat of this tomorrow. You never know, you never know, but this is this is what I really like. Check out some of the uh, ham we've got there. That looks delicious. Those country potatoes, salmon. Oh, and I forgot to get more hash browns. Let me go grab those. It's uh, These are just some more items we're gonna try. I'll let you know. All delicious flavors here for breakfast. Really, really enjoyed this one. It is one of my favorites that we've had so far, and they just gotta keep doing this, which would be great. One area of improvement. The um, apple juice and orange juice, they put ice in them and then they they sit out for a while, like behind the covered area, but they like prep like a lot of them in advance. So by the time you get it, it's like water with a little apple taste. Just an area of improvement for the future, but overall, delicious breakfast, really loved it. Now maybe we'll go out there and uh, explore some of those ships. Stepping on here on deck 12, check it out right here. Odyssey of the Seas, that little arm that goes up into the air, that's a viewing platform. So you can go up there and it'll like raise you up so you can look all around the ship. That would make for an amazing view. I definitely want to try it one day in the future. Celebrity Reflection and Carnival Conquest. All out here, ready to share in a Nassau spe spectacular day. There's a little bit of a walk though. You go all the way here, walk all the way down and all the way over there, and then you make your way through into Nassau. A little bit of construction before you actually get to the uh, shopping area though. One day, oh my gosh. <laughs> one day, I'm gonna learn how to do that. One day. That is so cool, standing up on the flow rider. He's one of the uh, lifeguards and staff members here who makes it all possible. Really cool, wow. Pickleball time here on the sports court. I have played it uh, once or twice, but it definitely uh, is a game that takes a few times to get uh, to get more consistent, like at most games. Here now at Independence Dunes to play a little bit of mini golf here on board Independence of the Seas. Hard to believe, I know, but I just made that into, went through the little buoy here and there's my ball right there in that one. Gotta love it. Par here's three, I'm already up one. Let's see where it comes out. I went the right side. Not bad. Now here we have our very unique water hazard. Let's see if we can do this with one hand. Here it comes, up, up, and oh, wait a minute. All right, that kind of was the first putt. Let's make the second putt happen. There it is, up. Two ways it can go. Which way is it gonna go? It's gonna go this way, which, oh, it let out over there, which is actually extremely close to the hole, wow. Great round here, Independence Dunes on the Independence of the Seas. Really enjoyed it. Uh, much more difficult than you think on some holes, easier on others. We're about to scale that wall. Gotta get some equipment and it's time to go. Got our shoes on right here. Tiny bit on the tighter side, but they're supposed to be a little bit tight. Not, not uncomfortable, just a little bit tighter. 
And we gotta get our rest of our gear on and head on up there. That's liquid chalk on our hands as we're about to climb up the medium. This is the medium wall. Hopefully we can make it to the first bell. Cross your fingers. experience made it about three quarters of the way I think up the wall which was a lot of fun it takes a ton out of you it's tons of fun though glad we did it rock climbing Royal Caribbean Independence of the Seas yeah really a fun time it really was but my grip is just gone it was fun I'm glad we did it there were kids doing it every age group can do it you know what's more fun though this is more fun I actually prefer that once we're uh, we're ready to get wet we're gonna do it again and get real good today very few people in line ice skating too today a lot of fun to have. All right, we have come back to the room, changed into long pants, which are required for our next activity, which is, you know, it, ice skating. I'm looking forward to it. It is, I think, yeah, it is my first time ice skating on a ship and first time ice skating since I was about 16, 17, something like that. So yeah, might, might want that helmet. We'll see, looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun, ice skating on Royal, Inde Royal Independence of the Seas. Okay, we're all signed up for ice skating. It is popular, so you wanna be here at least 20 minutes prior to sign-ups, and then you come back a little bit later. We have the first time, which is great, 11.30. Time is now 11.04, so we'll be back in about uh, 15, 20 minutes, because they say get here just prior, and uh, we'll be skating. I'm looking forward to it. Another fun update here. I found out from the head of the ski ca ice captain, that's his name, ice captain, you are allowed to wear the wrist strap, which I will wear to show you how we're skating, but you can't hold it in the little, I'm holding on a little tripod. So can't use that, can use the wrist strap, which is my plan. Here we are, Studio B ice skating rink. This is gonna be spectacular. I think we're gonna get a safety briefing or yeah, something's going on. And then we're gonna put our shoes on and skates on and get ready to go. Ice skates, helmet, we are just about ready to go. Let's do this. My GoPro is officially on my wrist. Hopefully this goes well. Here we go. Woo. That's about the speed I'm gonna be going till I get a little bit more. I'm getting the hang of it again. I seriously am. Wait, this is actually going pretty well. I used to roller skate like, you know, in the, in the neighborhood. Woo. Yeah, the, the triple sow cow that you were waiting for Michael to try, it's not gonna be happening, just FYI. Haven't felt fallen, which I'm happy about. Just, uh, yeah, this is the ultimate in skating technique. For a novice, it's called the Spinning Place. Whoa, okay. Gotta tell you, it felt spectacular to be on the ice again. It has been, it's been like 16, 17 years, but I was able to pick it up pretty quick again. You see me? You see me out there? That was, uh, it, it took me a minute to get kind of back into the swing, you know, as, as anything does, but it's like a bike. Once you start to pick it up again, it's like, whoa, it comes back really quick. Didn't think it would go that well. Really loved it. Recommend it highly. It's ice skating here at Independence of the Seas and a lot of the Royal Caribbean cruise ships. Changed and ready for pool time. Let's do it. It's an amazing to me how the hot tub and adult pool, I mean, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised, constantly full, constantly full. There's a ton of people on both sides. Wow. You can see behind me, the kids pool is also crowded at the hot tubs anyway. The splash pad area is being sanitized at the moment. So they're cleaning it all off. I think uh, probably in between groups of kids just relaxing enjoying the day here look at this pirate barge right here looks at the cost online of that i think it's like 85 something yeah. like that dollars that looked a little bit earlier before we were ice skating it looks cool really really cool look at the odyssey of the seas over here look at that i was also thinking about the apex by the way the, the apex is the magic carpet on the right hand side see it right there the little bar it goes up and down we'll show you that some other time i was thinking about going on it but royal first odyssey of the sea is right there check out that that sky arm goes up into the air there are people inside the little you know, capsule up there, and they get lifted at least another, what, 100, maybe, it's more than 100, several hundred feet in the air, it looks like. I mean, to me, yeah, anyway, I'm not a good judge of these things, but really, really high in the air there. Unbelievable. That's the class of Royal Caribbean ship that I do want to try in the future, and we'll try Celebrity one day, too. Looks so, so nice. 
Wow, and it's turning. You see it turning a little bit, so it shows it shows them the view. That's just incredible. Wow. After some great time sunbathing, which is what we spent our time doing. I know the pool were a little crowded, but we had a great time just kind of looking at the views and sunbathing, which was wonderful. It's such a relaxing adventure. Uh, now headed to lunch at Windjammers. Oh my gosh, they have a chocolate fountain here for lunch. Already got some delicious looking items. I gotta wait for dessert a little bit. And I love the fact that the team member is the one who does the chocolate for you. Nobody else touches it but the team member. Love that. Very sanitary. I, I sometimes you, know, you think to yourself, okay, what's what's going on with the chocolate fountain? This one looks safe. I'm gonna be using it later. I'm looking forward to it. Here's a look at our lunch. We got some cantaloupe, some chicken, this egg sandwich looks good, the uh, Alfredo, and that's a little bit of beef there. It all looks super good. We're gonna get to save a little bit of room for dessert if we can. We got the uh, unsweetened iced tea right there. Put a little sweetener in there. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Let's give lunch a try. Overall thoughts on the first course here. The chicken was delicious. Love the chicken. The cantaloupe was also delicious along with that beef. The egg sandwich was not very good. Not much flavor there. And the um, uh, chicken, uh, the excuse me, pasta Alfredo here was very flavorless. It was really interesting how it kind of lacked flavor there. It's just creamy. It's okay. So we're gonna get a little bit more. I'm not too, too hungry, but I do wanna try that chocolate fountain for sure. We, got, we have to try the chocolate, it's here, we gotta try it. The dessert today looked spectacular. The, uh, it's kind of hidden in chocolate there, peach custard cup here looks super, super good. We've also got the, I think it's a pineapple cake they have and the red velvet cheesecake and the oatmeal cookie. It all looks super good, of course. We've got the marshmallow, the chocolate cake and the uh, raz uh, straw uh, strawberry, yes in the uh, dipped in chocolate there. That was done totally for us. We didn't touch the chocolate fountain at all. They did it all for us. I love it. Of course, the chocolate fountain was outstanding, a darker chocolate. Well, I only had the marshmallow so far, but I really love the chocolate they're using. Oatmeal raisin cookie, surprisingly amazing. Red velvet cheesecake, my, my sister's favorite. I got it, I had to try it for her. I loved it and she's gonna love it too when she tries it. This pineapple one, nice and light and fluffy, very good. Only one I didn't care for was this peach thing right here. Didn't really care for that one. Everything else, really, really good. Delicious, absolutely delicious dessert here for lunch. There are those ships that Again, we're outside. Got my surf shirt on. Ready for some flow riding. best run no question about it the uh, instructor and viewer were like taking apparently taking pictures of me it was funny so we're getting better with each ride I talked to the instructor and I said what does it take to get really good like really good just practice that's all it is just practice and you'll get really good so I think it's probably like a selling point for Royal Caribbean right there where it's like hey you want to come back and practice low rider gotta come on the cruise so <laughs> it's really fun though you can see right now the line's pretty long a lot of people are here coming back from Nassau, but it is it is so much fun. It's hard to describe. It's really hard. It's hard. But you, I'm trying to describe it. you got to be in control, but also relinquish some control. It's important. Trying to, yeah, you just got to listen to the instructor. They will literally take you through the steps to get better and better. They're really good. They're really good. Love it.
incredible time, getting better and better each time here at the Flow Rider, looking at Nassau as we sit back and relax. A little crowded at the moment, but tons of fun. The moment has arrived, and we are now leaving Nassau, Bahamas. Bye, Nassau! It was so much fun. I loved every minute of it. We'll be back again before you know it. Check out, you can see that uh, little thing in the air there. It looks spectacular as we make our way past the Odyssey of the Seas. We will be on that ship or something like it. Before you know it, you're good, you're good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh well. No, oh, it's great. It's great in the picture. All right, we're making our way. It's always incredible to me how they're able to pilot these ships so accurately. We can just slip past that one over there, waving to our friends at Odyssey of the Seas, and make our way out into this uh, little harbor here, uh, and then through that little channel right there. Really unbelievable. We're about to spin around and get a better view of these ships. Now I'm learning that the Odyssey of the Seas, or that class of ship, has these animals. It's really tough to see here. I took a little picture of it. Uh, that kind of climb on the ship there. This one's got like a panther or a cat kind of going for a ball of yarn. It's kind of cool. They also have the eye fly right there, which is that uh, that really cool flying simulator, right? You go in there as an air and you basically fly up in the air to, to, to simulate skydiving. So cool. There's celebrity reflection. We have about all three as we make our way out of Nassau. As we're leaving Nassau here, you can see this area behind the little breaker wall here. We've got this really nice light blue color to the water. I have no idea why it looks like that. If anyone knows, please let me know. But yeah, I, I love it. It looks just like a, a paradise, but it's right next to the like shipping area. Really interesting. I'm sure we'll find out more soon. There is our security boat wishing us well as we made it through the channel. Bye security boat. Made it to the sky pad before it closed. Very excited about it. You didn't need shoes. So yay. A really cool experience here where you have the opportunity to wear VR goggles, which I am going to try to do or just use the, the bouncing pad and jump up and down and uh, kind of experience it. It's gonna be great. And see, they are jumping up in the air and experiencing virtual reality. Look at those uh, headsets right there that they're watching. We're gonna do that in just a minute. We're gonna look all around as we uh, jump. It's gonna be cool. I'm looking forward to experiencing it. I gotta tell you, that was a really cool experience. The VR made it fun, but I actually think I would have preferred it without the VR. And uh, I was told that without the VR, you, you get a different experience. You can hop all the way up to uh, almost the ceiling here. It's fun. It is fun. I have to you gotta be completely dry in order to do it. You know, no pool after pool time or thing like that. But it is a ton of fun, and I do recommend, again, without VR. I know it's sad, you know, I love VR, but I feel like this VR wasn't quite worth it. You want to go without and just kind of enjoy the scenes. I want to point out the fact that this is the main pool area. Not the adult only, but main pool area. Adult only is probably like it. Look how crowded this hot tub is and the pool is. I know we haven't been on in the hot tub or pool uh, on this cruise yet, but that's crowded. Uh, we'll be skipping it for now. We did so much and there's more to do tonight. Another one of the big differences here is the private boom box. There's a very loud, large private boom box by a family there. It's, it's just not something I'm used to seeing. I'm just pointing out the differences. Really, really love the day. We've got so much more tonight. Special dinner and probably a very special uh, show on TV, uh, Super Bowl Sunday. So we're we're probably going to catch that. Not sure how much of it we're going to catch or how we're going to catch it yet, but we'll get there. Got uh, some iced tea, which I sweetened, and some tea as well, some rooibos tea. Not the rooibos tea I am used to, but still a really good one. All included. I also found out that Sorrento's Pizza on Deck 5 included pizza. Go figure. And sandwiches and everything. Similar things they have at Windjammers, but very special pizza and delicious pizza. So, yeah, on our way. I'll shower in a bit. Just taking some time to relax. Changed, showered, and ready for a spectacular night. Let's go watch a little stand-up surfing, and then we'll go play shuffleboard maybe, and then dinner. Yum. Next time, I'm hoping to do this. Learn how to stand up on the flow rider. That's what they're doing right now. A couple very brave souls trying it out. Next time, I hope to try this. It's easier than it looks. Well, it, it looks hard. First appetizer today is the coconut shrimp. It looks delicious here. Independence of the Sea is the third night dining. Let's see how it tastes. Not bad, a little spicy, but uh, not bad. Well cooked shrimp, well, well fried as well. Not very coconutty. Kind of missing a coconut flavor there, but the rest of it's really good, so just fried shrimp. This is what they should call it, but delicious. Here's our salmon dish here. It's the second dish as a part of our appetizers here at Royal Independence of the Seas, dining. Okay. Let's give it a try. Looks really good. Looks like just that smoked salmon with some extra accoutrements with it. Let's try it. Delicious salmon. Tastes very similar to the smoked salmon you had upstairs, but this is even better with the extra sauce they put on it and the extra accoutrements that come with it. Outstanding. Definitely recommend this one. 
delicious. Time for our entree. It's the prime rib, and Rodrigo told me that it is truly a fantastic dish. Last time he recommended the other dish we had, which was amazing. So I'm hoping this one is just as good, if not better. Let's try it together. I'll let you know what I think. This one's not bad. It's not bad, I have to admit. The beef tenderloin blows it out of the park, though. That's the thing, where he had the absolute best the other night. This one's okay. Flavor's all right. You can taste it. It's good. Not amazing. Sauce is okay. The accoutrements with the broccoli and tomato and the potato. It's only okay. Deep fried potato. Not bad. Um, looking forward to dessert though. So, fingers crossed, even better food ahead. For dessert tonight, we've got these very special puff pastries and look at this guy, the apple a la mode. Looks incredible. One of my all time favorites. Our server, Rodrigo, also brought us something special. Oh, it's the strawberry pepalova. Okay, I'm looking forward to trying that too. There's a lot of desserts here. Now, this is the dark chocolate brownie, and I was told it is absolutely like way out of your way, worth going out of your way for, which I am now going to try. That's pretty spectacular. Oh, I was also told to try the creme brulee. Very good food. Great dessert so far. More to go. After a whole lot of desserts have been tried, only one's worth going out of your way for apple a la mode, as we know. That chocolate brownie thing, which was really good, and the crab brulee is super good too. Those are the winners. Everything else you can skip. Um, yeah, so big winners here. Royal Caribbean dessert. Now we've got to get our way for uh, more activities tonight. Well, I got to tell you, I've enjoyed this so much. I'm here at Next Cruise, which is where you start booking that next cruise. I'm not quite ready to book yet, but I got this little pamphlet here with some great looking cruises on it. We're going to be looking into it for a future date one day in the future. Looking forward to coming back again. Loved it that much. It's football day. Super Bowl Sunday is right now. They're having a big party. It looks like it's actually closed off. You can't sit anywhere. You have to hold these seats way in advance to uh, to get to access to this. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. I'm not surprised that uh, Playmakers is completely full. They closed it off early. People have been holding those spots, I'm sure, for hours. And we went to dinner. That's fine. No problem. You know, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. I feel like the cruise, to me, is at least more important. But that's me. Everybody's got their own priorities. That's okay. We're going to check it out from a different angle. Now, usually this time of night, it wouldn't be quite this crowded in the pool. But since it's Super Bowl Sunday, it's playing up on the screen above us. A lot of people here. Found a pretty good spot here. Drag these chairs over, which you're allowed to do. And I got a pretty good view of the screen. So we're going to enjoy some of the Super Bowl right here on board the Independence of the Seas. Didn't think it happened that way, but yeah, I'm all down for it. I'm gonna stop by Windjammers real fast and see if they got some special food and beverage because it looked like someone was carrying something that was like special for the Super Bowl over here. So I know we just ate, but I'm just gonna look. It's Caribbean night here in Windjammers for dinner and uh, sure sounds cool. They have some really good looking items here. Banana pie, lemon custard pie, mixed tart and banana cream pie. Wow, that's what I was looking for. Los Angeles Rams versus the Cincinnati Bengals right here on Independence of the Seas celebrating the Super Bowl. That's cool. That's that's one of the cool things right there. I think I want to try one of these specialty desserts, though. They look really good. I know we just had some food. Not going to eat it right away. Just going to try it. Oh, it's... Oh! It's an amazing feeling here, Independence of the Seas. The craziest interception of all time by the Bengals here. It must have, it was like a 50 yard pass. The Bengals intercept. Unbelievable, the crowd goes absolutely wild. Wow. It's raining now pretty intensely. Everybody has to all of a sudden run under the shade. And we're under here already with this great view, so. Yeah, we got lucky. The rain is really coming down more intensely and it's freezing. The, the wind is absolutely freezing. So we're going to let these chairs go and uh, see maybe the rest of the game from elsewhere or maybe not at all. But a uh, really close game. Halftime 10 to 13. Great, great game. Had a little snack here at uh, Windjammers. Nothing too good. The desserts were just kind of a miss today. Really, really weren't great. I don't know. So a lot of weird aftertaste and chocolate that didn't really taste like chocolate. So not great. Um, tea's good though. Love the tea. Probably gonna go to what's called Studio B, which is downstairs, look at some of the Super Bowl and how the party's looking in there, which is where we ice skated today, which is kind of cool. And uh, see what the, the show's like there. And we got a silent dance party in 45 minutes. We're super excited about that. You know, from uh, the New Year celebration we have at Disney, the silent, par silent dance party there. So seeing one on board. It's clearly a party. You can see the touchdown right there behind me. You got your balloons up here. Ooh, the uh, referees right here. And this is the halftime game. Sorry, we're just watching these. Right here you can actually see on the 
kind of a small RCV for this size uh, area, but still nice. And then, uh, yeah, everybody's just enjoying it here in Studio B. And I think the lights kind of go in tune with the music there. That's nice. Here in Studio B, got my tea in hand, loving it. And we're sitting here, and yeah, they, they got a big screen over there, which is fine. We're watching it on these super small screens, maybe 32, 40 inch screens, right uh, in front of us. Not the optimal way to see the Super Bowl, I have to admit. Outside was more fun, but it was freezing cold and raining, so that wasn't happening. We'll watch a little bit from here. Unbelievable touchdown by the Bengals right after, right after that amazing half. Wow, they just are on fire now. Not a bad spot to watch the game in the end. You know, you had a little private area to yourself, which was nice. Now we're headed to watch the, uh, go to the silent dance party just to check it out, maybe finish the game here, maybe in our room. Very cool dance party here, silent dance party. You can switch between the stations just like that. We got some uh, more modern and of course some rap right here. Gotta love it. You can see people are here on the dance floor enjoying the silent dance party or just watching from the chairs, which I love. Finishing the game now, two minute warning, very excited about it, but yeah, in the room and just uh, finishing the game here. It's a great way to kind of watch the end of it. It's uh, It was actually a really good game as we're getting down to the wire here. Looking forward to seeing those last moments before we make our way off to sleep for the end of the cruise. This has been a magical adventure, I've got to tell you. I have loved every moment of it. I've just had so, so much fun. Um, just everything. It was it was an amazing adventure and more than I was expecting from our first Royal Caribbean cruise ever, ever. So very, very excited. Looking forward to sharing uh, more of these kind of adventures with you. But let's finish the game first. Watching all of them do an amazing job. I and mean, they, they, it was an amazing game. It really, really was a fantastic Super Bowl. We didn't really get the commercials on board. It was, it was kind of like the Royal Caribbean version of commercials, but it was still fun. And with that, our adventure is going to come to an end. I am so glad I had the opportunity to share it all with you, and I am extremely grateful to you and to all of our patrons for making it all possible and sharing it with me. Until our next adventure, have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.